Yeah, we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest currently does double duty on two hit TV shows. She plays Bailey's alcoholic girlfriend on Party of Five and the pregnant lesbian cop on NYPD Blue. Please welcome a woman who has a lot to tackle, Paige Turco. <laughs> So what is it? You just can't pick a simple role, you know? It's got to be the alcoholic girlfriend, the lesbian cop who's pregnant. What, how, how does it happen? Um, I don't know how that happens exactly, but mm -hmm. uh, it's fun. It's fun. It's, it's never boring. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I actually started out um, on All My Children playing a virgin, so I've kind of hit the gamut, run the gamut of... <laughs> of, all, of all known human experience. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, um, what, now, what's the deal now? What's the plot line with your character on NYPD Blue, who's, who's the pregnant lesbian character? Um, actually, I was just talking to Gordy, who plays Metavoy, who mm -hmm. um, I asked uh, him to donate sperm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't know. I know that I've given birth because everything is in real time, but I haven't been able to make it back to the show. So we don't know whether it's a little girl or a little boy. Is so, it going to be one of those season cliffhangers? What's it going to be? Because those are getting harder and harder. Network television has ratcheted it up. So in yeah. the old days, it was, Lucy's going to have a baby. We have to see this. But now people have to explode in midair, you know, on a Zeppelin for, <laughs> to get people to tune in. Just boy, girl, I don't think does it anymore. Right. No. no. Now, tell me about something that, that fascinates me. You were in one of the teenage... Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. Actually, the second two. The one we go to Japan. <laughs> the second. Have you noticed the second movie is always they. Weird for me. Well, the second movie is <laughs> always they go to them. Japan. Have you noticed that? Yeah. They always. It's always we go to Japan. It was the Bad News Bears. First one, and then the second one, go to Japan. I guess. I never thought of that. Yeah. So are you gonna? We went to Japan. And um, was it? What, what was the second one called? Uh, Secret of the Ooze. Secret of the, uh, yeah. Was wow. there a secret of the ooze, or was it all just uh, pretty much was, bull? It was bull. <laughs> yeah, there's no secret of the ooze. <laughs> well, here's why I went to this area. You hear about this, and you want to know, what is it like acting? Because you're a you know, serious actor. You've got to act with these mutant ninja turtles, which I'm supposing... What are they? Little people really in strange. how they're, does it work? They're little people in like rubber suits or they're something. They're little people in latex suits with a head that's like radio mic by puppeteers who stand off to the side and say the words and move their hands. So the actors don't do the movements themselves? No, no. They just shove a guy in there and the hands well, move and everything? He's like, stop it, I don't want to do it anymore. You're doing it. They, they move their body, but their face is moved by, um, um, uh, or their... their That's demeaning, face. don't you think? Just get in there, move your legs a little bit, don't touch your face. See. They don't what? see anything. They don't see? No, they have like a little slit. It's like a quarter of an inch. So they trip everywhere and fall down a lot. Oh, <laughs> so oh my God. Down, you know, what do you mean? Why don't that? they just give them an eye holes, you know? Well, like... because you'd see it. Oh, you God know, for forbid, so yeah. <laughs> there you go. Then we really believe that there's you'd no see, yeah. <laughs> Well, if there was a, a big eye hole, you'd see a little guy in there crying. <laughs> Actually gasping for breath. What, because they can't they, breathe no, in there? No, we used, to, we used to take head breaks. It's what we call them. Wow, you know, everything is coming out very strange tonight. <laughs> it's that kind of night, baby. There you go. Um, now, <laughs> so basically, you put these people in there, you put a head on them with no eye holes, really. Yeah. There's no air in there. Yeah. They can't control their own movements. <laughs> That's done by a puppeteer, yeah. and they may pass out at any time. Yeah. Now, how do you know if they've passed out? Because you, they'd still be moving, pretty much. Well, when they fall down and they're rolling on their shell, you know? <laughs> rolling on their shell? They have these huge power packs, these shells. Yeah. On the back, and, and, and they uh, roll. Because it's latex, it's squishy. It sounds horrific. It, 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 it was. It was fun, though. There were parts of it that were fun. Well, fun I mean, for you. I don't think for them. I think no, it was not Their fun. lives were living hell. Uh, before you got into the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja world, uh, you had a struggle like most people do. What oh, kinds yeah. of things were you doing? You were doing summer stock, things like that? <laughs> you weren't trying to eat. <laughs> um, you had no money. No, I lived in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. and um, I, was, I did summer theater, uh, a lot of summer theater, um, in upstate New York, and I ate a lot of tuna melts. 
Because um, those are yeah. cheap. Well, yeah, my mom would send me cans of tuna fish, and my grandfather would send me government cheese, and all I had to buy was bread and mayonnaise. So. <laughs> they sent you government cheese? Yeah. I don't know if they can get in trouble for that. <laughs> I would think go. they'd send you something nicer than government cheese. That's something you're supposed to go and find on your protein. own. It was protein. The government, the cheese the government has, you don't want. It's like Eisenhower administration cheese. It's I been remember. around forever. <laughs> I beg to differ. My what? Friend. My grandma used to get it, and she didn't need it. She would just, like... Because she was like old, it? she would go get it, you know? Old people eat too, like, Andy. No, I know, but I mean, you know, like, like she didn't have any legitimate reason for it. She could afford to go to the store and buy cheese, but it's like, oh, they're giving away cheese. Yeah. Wouldn't pass up free cheese. And? Delicious. It's good cheese? It's delicious. <laughs> Is all the government issue food good? Oh, I don't know, but I just had the cheese. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was fine, though? Yeah, yeah. We're going to get, because you mentioned it on the air, we're going to get tomorrow lots of government-issued cheese. Fantastic. That'll be oh, great. I can't Have wait. Them all. Yeah. God forbid Porsche yeah. sends us a car. No. Well, yeah, well, here's some government-issued cheese. Uh, Party of Five on Fox, uh, Wednesdays at 9 o'clock p.m. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm the mean drunk. The mean I'm drunk? Sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I get accosted. Yeah. Are you mean in real life when you have a few too many? Um, no, actually, I'm a real, like, lightweight. And That's I, what I'm like. Yeah. I, if ever I have a little too much, I be, I'm one of those guys that tells everybody, including a fire hydrant, I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. Uh, and NYPD Blue is on ABC Tuesdays at 10 o'clock p.m. You're busy. Yeah, I'm the mean drunk, the gay jogger, and uh, I work with animals and children. <laughs> with, with turtles. <laughs> With turtles. abused turtles. All right, uh, Paige Turco, come on back sometime. Thanks well, so much for being here. You. Paige Turco, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with Virsky.